what about work in the training ground? I mean, you were here when, when it was a real fortress. David Moyes, I mean, Everton got into, into Europe during this period of time. I mean, he's the most successful manager in the Premier League era. And you were there at Arsenal under Arsene Wenger. I mean, how much work was done between these two managers on the training ground defensively? Some players will say too much work yeah. was done. <laughs> really? Yeah, some players will say too much work because when we, when we tended to do it was on a Friday. So we train and then we'll do the set pieces. Yeah. Now, David Moyes was a stickler for getting things right. Sometimes we're out there at hour, hour 15 more after training, God. getting set pieces right. And you know on a Friday, all you want to do is you want to finish, get some food and go home and, and rest. Yeah. But we're out there such a long time. Well, our Arsene was, it was very uh, organized on times. So when it was 10 minutes of set piece, it was 10 minutes, didn't matter. But I guess we, we, we had the player that were, you know, such a leaders. So, you know, everybody knew they had a job to do. Everybody knew what position, what they had to do. And, and Wenger didn't really need to do much of the work, to be he honest. Knew the players. He, he knew, knew the, the players, players would do it. You had the Patrick Vieira, Thierry Henry, all them guys, they're just... Automatic. They, they, they're winners, it's you know, and, and they knew how much just one little lack of concentration, not picking up your man or whatever could cost you the game. And, you know, they're, they're champions. They wanted to win the league, and that's what you've got to do. Every little detail count. Wow. Okay. I just I thought maybe under the success of Wenger, more would have been done on the training ground in terms of defensive structure. I just find that fascinating. I, I think when you've got the players that understand straight away what job they've got to do, practice. You know, like we, we were saying before, you can practice for two hours. First corner, the perfect, the back perfect, perfect ball is in the back of the net, and sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. You know. So when you're on the pitch, do you have someone like a Vieira telling you what to do, where to be for? When you're well, defending set pieces. You're supposed to know where, where, where to be anyway. But then he'll be there reminding you, come on, you know, be prepared, focus, get your mind right because this is important. But then, you know, like I said, you have so many top players that they, they know their job. Yeah, OK, it's a good contrast to Everton. Obviously, there was a reputation for Everton under David Moyes and you were there for three years under him. Yeah, I mean, I think for, for the likes of Everton, that is what actually made us... Uh, strong and nice. strong and made, made us propel ourselves forward because if teams knew you were difficult to beat you find teams change their routine yeah for a free kick on corners because they knew oh, I'm not going to knock it in there because it just gets eaten up yeah. in there and the same I suppose happened at Arsenal because there were such good players teams would change their routine just to try and unhinge you yeah, yeah.